Hi, we're going to talk about the relationship between the acid base ionization constants. Um, now, ionization constant, that is just a very uh, specific way of saying equilibrium constant for an acid reaction or a base reaction. Um, if you haven't watched these videos, go to my playlist where it says acid base equilibrium and you can get more information on Ka and Kb. Uh, Ka, that is going to be the equilibrium constant for an acid reaction, acid plus water. Um, Kb, that's going to be the equilibrium constant for a base reaction, a base plus water. Um, and we'll use this term ionization right here. Um, now, to really understand the idea of ionization, I want to show you this formula right here. Pretty cool, it's going to be the Kw, the uh, equilibrium constant of water when water cell, when it does that auto ionization is one times 10 to the minus 14. Well, if you take Ka, times kb uh, it equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14 pretty cool same thing you'll recall that this also equals the concentration of the um, hydrogen ion times the hydroxide ion, hydroxide ion pretty neat um, so what you'll notice is that there's an indirect relationship between ka and kb if you have a really large ka you're going to have a smaller kb because when you multiply them they have to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14 and vice versa this statement is equally true if you have a small ka um, you're going to have a very large kb um, now what this does is it allows us to predict strength of acids and bases um, so watch my video on strength of acids and bases it actually shows you an ionization constant table and you can predict strength based on numbers um, now i had used two terms equilibrium constant ionization constant um, equilibrium constant, that's our umbrella term for this K value, um, but we will um, be even more specific and use the term ionization constant. And it show, um, that word ionization, it tells us the degree at which the acid or the base ionizes, the degree at which it breaks apart the degree at which it reacts with water. Um, you know, strong acids, strong bases, 100% break apart. Acid 100% ionizes, a base 100% uh, dissociates. They completely break apart. But weak acids and bases only partially are going to react. They're only going to partially ionize. Um, so the Ka, Kb value, they will show us the bigger the number, the greater that ionization, that breaking apart, becoming an ion. Um, the smaller the number, the even weaker the acid or base is, um, the less that it will break apart, that it will ionize. So I want to show you just a quick example of how to use this formula. Um, let's say that you were given the equilibrium constant, so the ionization constant, same thing, just ionization is a little more specific for acids and bases. Um, then you're given acetic acid, okay? So our HC2H3O2, the um, ionization constant for this acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. We use this a lot. Um, and we want to know, well, what's the Kb? Okay, let's plug it into our formula. We've got Kw equals Ka times Kb. Um, I'm going to go ahead and solve for my Kb. That's what I want. Let's divide both sides by the Ka. We're going to get Kb equals Kw divided by, sorry, our Ka. All right, so now we can just plug in the numbers. We will have Kb equals one times 10 to the minus 14 divided by the Ka, which was the 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. Okay, so we do that math and we end up with 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10 is the Kb. Now, what I want you to notice is the relationship. We're going to have a Ka value, notice that's 10 to the minus five, compared to a Kb value that's um, 10 to the minus 10. All right, this acid is going to have much greater dissociation, um, ionization, breaking apart, reacting with water, than the base. Um, so I'd say this acid, that's going to be stronger than its conjugate base. Um, 10 to the minus 10, man, only a little bit of that's going to react. Um, okay. So there you have it. A couple of other videos that you can watch again on the acid base equilibrium um, playlist that all go along with this if you have more questions. Have a good day. Proud of you for, for your hard work. Thanks.